You start the adventure by your players all showing up at a tavern. What does the tavern look like? I'm going to take a floor plan that I found on the internet and use that as the basis to start drawing up a tavern or an inn that you could use in your campaign. Almost every campaign, you often start with uh, the people, the player characters showing up at a tavern or an inn, but you need some sort of inn to, or tavern to get going. So I was thought, let's talk about taking an existing floor plan and modifying it so that we've, uh, we can have something to base our, our floor plans on. I happened to find this, I did a bit of searching for floor plans of bed and breakfast and I ran across uh, the Beckman Lodge rooms and, uh, and um, so it's uh, I'm not going to talk it's down by the Brigham Young University campus I grew up in Utah so yeah I, I used to I was not uh, I'm not uh, a member of the prevailing religion there but uh, this is an interesting this gives an interesting idea for a tavern because they have the floor plans of all the different floors so if we take a look at this, this is a nice little floor plan that we can quickly adapt, or relatively quickly adapt, into um, some sort of tavern because it fits well. The, the rooms that they have here, they say they're fairly small. They're for normal short stays, which is what we would see with a tavern. We've got a large central room which we can put in there and we can put in... Um, you know our bar and such which would not i'm sure the the people who actually ha run this um, would not approve but that's all right so what i've done is i've pulled down all three of the floor plans and we'll pl take one of them and we're going to make it into a map uh, using a combination of gimp and campaign cartographer so let first off the i need to convert the maps to PNGs because campaign cartographer doesn't understand how to deal with um, uh, JPEGs. So I need so if I grab a map a one of the floor plans. This is the floor plan I downloaded. I saved the JPEG, and this is uh, just brought it into GIMP. And all I'm going to do is convert it file uh, export and we need to save it as a PNG um, which will export it very simple there are other tools that can do this I'm just using GIMP because that's what I've got installed and things like that so now then one of the things we're going to need to do is we're going to get need some idea how large this is or how large do we want to draw our tavern. Now we can see that here this is a bed so we know each room is at least about 10 12 feet we can make it 15 feet across so if we go if we say that then there's one two three we'll say four five six seven eight nine ten ten times fifteen so this is a fairly large tavern so we're going to do uh, a map in Campaign Cartographer. We're going to want to go about 200 by 160 feet just for the, the, the map. So uh, we've saved this out as a, as, a, as a PNG. So let's get out of here and we'll exit out of GIMP. So we're starting up campaign cartographer and let's do, we're going to come in here and we're going to do a new map in campaign cartographer. And we're going to use the dungeon floor plan. That makes more sense than anything else when we're doing this. And I'm going to decide the settings myself because I always kind of like to do that. And we're going to say we're going to use the fill pattern A, 
the the uh, the style uh, the a style well let's just go with standard dungeon the dungeon designer 3 and we're going to use that those flow that style and what we said before was this is um we need at least 200 feet so let's make this 200 by 160 and um we need a map we need a name so this uh, is this, this is um since we're doing this tutorial for youtube uh, uh let's call it the um, two um to you uh tavern just for fun we're going to call the map title as the to you tavern and what we, uh, we're going to put the name of the map up in the map up in the right hand corner i always like to have a scale bar down in the bottom left and we could put a compass rose in the top left so that will give us all of that now we're not um uh, Dirt would be fine, but we could actually say I think we could pick a a grass bitmap to to dry grass or let's say let's say this is a nice green green grass outside. So we're gonna pick up the green grass bitmap. That's a little dark. Let's pick uh, green grass one bitmap. There we go, and um, that's the map background. And we're going to say we're going to I'm going to enable multiple levels because it will do that. I'm we're going to want a basement in this, and we're going to get, want two t two levels above. So uh, that'll give us a first story and a second story, which sort of fits with an inn and a basement. So we'll finish this. And that will, and we're just going to um, let's put it where like i said trying to find get used to all my uh insane um dire uh, directory structure but we're going to save it create a tavern or an inn and it's uh the two you tavern so and and it draws it so here we go so here's the here's our our basic floor plan and we're set up to draw this now one of the first things we're going to do is I need to add a new layer. And the reason I'm gonna add a layer is because I'm later gonna delete it. But what happens is let's add a layer and I'm gonna call it scan. Simply because I normally do this when I scan an image in or whatever. So I've got, here's my scan. I set that as the active layer. Now then I come in and do a draw with an insert file. And here's my first floor. So we put that, we'll make it relative, it doesn't really matter at this point. And um, what is our grid set to? I want a five foot by five foot grid with a five snap and I want the cursor to snap. So now my, now my grid will come down. You can see the grid points for this. So let's start, I kind of like to start, let's see, how about here? We'll see how this goes. The nice thing about doing electronically is we can always, if we didn't like the way it looked, we can always change it. And hmm, that's, uh, well, okay, we get, we keep getting with this, this big block of text floor over here is sort of a problem. So let's, uh, but we'll, we'll live with that. We'll put the plan about here. Okay, so this gives us a nice info. Now we can actually see what our scale is like. What is the distance from here to here to here? That'll give us an idea of room size. So that's 19 feet. Okay, so we're actually much bigger than I originally intended, but that's fine. The rooms are, this is going to be a much bigger uh, building than we expect than I originally expected but that's but that's fine so it's going to be about 150 750 160 feet wide so we've got this nice uh, tab we've got this nice outline we could um, 
the first thing we could do is we could decide to create a room. So if we, if we click here and we see our room pattern, we'll go with this cobble. I'm not really particularly uh, fond of the, this uh, floor cobble, and I uh, sometimes I have a difficult find, time finding something that looks a bit better than it in the dungeon because it makes the dungeon or the, the things look a little bit. But we're in a tavern. So we could actually say that we don't want to do anything like that. We want wood grain. So we're going to do wood grain horizontal oak. So that gives us oak beams. And the outer walls, that's fine. We can stay with the, the with that. Now then, we're going to make it a, uh, we're picking, we're picking a room. It's got uh, stone walls and it's going to have um, a wooden floor. And so we go, okay. So let's start, we'll start, it's a, it's a, it's an, um, what's the phrase, polygon shaped room. So we're creating the main outline of the tavern. So we're just going to trace over and draw approximately the way the building actually looks. We know that it will look a little bit different because we're not we're not the right scale. We're just uh, stealing the, the ideas for this for our uh, tavern. And we can create this here. So let's just trace this out. And we'll get to here. Now you could actually do this with pen and paper and a ruler. And or you could actually, in many situations, you could actually just use this existing map. It's fine enough detail that you could uh, use it and that there are tons of them if you start looking for floor plans out there on the web you'll find them all over the find hundreds maybe thousands of floor plans or maybe millions maybe not millions but you'll find them there and you can use them with very little adaptation in your campaign so it's fairly easy and I figure I'll do this this video and then I'll do another video about let's design up um, the people who, the non-player characters who populate this um, environment. But let's see here, if I close that off, so there we go, we've got our tavern. That's the, that's the basic shape of our tavern, and we can start putting rooms inside there by adding walls. And we can, so if I redraw this, you see that, and I can, um, if I come in, hopefully, that was the interesting question. Did it put, um, cancel. We can always, one of the most useful things in Campaign Cartographer is info. And if, if I select this, what did it actually, what did it, where did it actually put things? So it put things, the sheet, it's on the, full, where I, it actually did put it on the correct layer, which sometimes Campaign Cartographer will, use what you've got set up here and sometimes. So I've got my um, nice scan and if I come back over here to what I probably want to do is select walls and if I make scan frozen and hide it then what happens is that uh, this shows, well, let's say, sorry, I want to do the reverse. I wanted to make, let's put this tile I want to hide the, the walls. So that's the walls. Sorry. Didn't want to. What I'm trying to say is I want to see the scan and I want to and I want to see let's hide the floor. So this gives us the floor. We can hide hide the floor and we can just see the, the and we want to see the walls and the scan, how that fit together. No, come on. What am I, why is it not doing what I wanted? There's floors. And there's scan, cancel, info list. What is this? So notice we've got 
something this uh, this is on the sheet floors it's background floor too okay that's what that's why it put it on background floor too so if I hide this one then we see here's our walls if we zoom in we can see our walls there's the walls we drew and it's sitting over at the top of the the map so we can come in and we can add our interior walls so we can do that because that would just coming up to here and we have to decide are our interior uh, what are our interior walls look like and we could pick um, you know the standard uh, stone wall we could do a wooden wall whatever this is the um, this uh, so this is the let's see what did they do so stonework cobble let's just put a wall to see what it looks like first thing I just want to see what it looks like and if we zoom in we can see how well that wall matches up with the exterior wall and it's not the right one so we'll just do that I sometimes have a difficult time finding or we can you know walls cobble straight let's see what that kind of wall looks like no that's not it it's flagstones this is where I sometimes um, stonework stonework cobble brown cobble brown cobble brown cobble brown cancel okay so if I do info list this will tell me and we do do it it says that it's using flagstone one bitmap so I, I want to create a new wall type, which unfortunately is a little bit more work, but we'll, so, so, we, uh, so what we'll do is we, we see the different walls, but we don't see a flagstone. So we're going to do um, a new, and we're gonna say wall, uh, let's do flagstone. Stone straight okay so then the properties of that instead of using the wall cobble bitmap we saw that this was using the what was it using the flagstone where did flagstone one bitmap so there we go so there's that we'll save this okay so now then, if we come into walls, we will we should see our uh, flagstone. Where did it go? Should show up in there. Cobble. Flagstone. Well, we'll select that one. So now we've got it. We get we've got the our flagstone wall. So we could actually add the. So if we zoom out so we're seeing this is our entry room here and it's got uh, and the question is do we really want to do that with our with our with our tavern we're probably not I'm not going to do that I'm going to come over here and zoom out just a little bit more I'm just going to create come over to here and create this wall here and this wall to goes to there so that will that gives me the wall and if I come back in and I turn my scan sheet off I see I've drawn this this wall here and we notice that this actually is sort of crooked but which is fine which is great because we're talking about um, buildings that aren't you know they're they're not built to modern standards and so it was just my scan of there so we see how that would work and we can go through and we can add the doors and so on and I I wasn't really going to go into the tutorial too much but what happens is that this is the idea you can take your a map from someplace like that create what I was envisioning for this if I go back to way the scan is looking the what I was envisioning was we've got all these rooms I want to make this one large room here which gives me plenty of space I 
change the shapes of some of these a little bit, but then I can, you know, and I don't need to do all the inner divisions, but I can create these rooms that are there for people to stay. And it gives me an idea of what a room would look like. I could, would obviously throw some tables in here because if I take a look at the size of this inner room, this inner room is 34 feet wide and if I open it up from there to here, it's going to tell me it's 75, 75 feet long, which is a nice large tavern that I can create quite easily. And um, it allows me to quickly take something and create the rooms I need. If you like my video, press the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that. Or if uh, this interests you, you can always subscribe to my channel. There's a button right above. Uh, I look forward to hearing some comments. Tell me what you think about this and I'll uh, uh, try and reply and uh, we can see if I'll do some more of these. Thank you.